Gentlemen guys, I hope you are well and I will be presenting this video to explain CRR, Cash Reserve Ratio, SLR or Statutory Liquidity Ratio, Call Rate, Bank Rate, Repo Rate, Reverse Repo Rate and finally MSF or Marginal Standing Facility. Now let us see CRR. CRR is the ratio of the total deposits of a bank in India which it is required to hold with RBI in cash form and this CRR is fixed by RBI. So let's take an example suppose it is RBI and it is one of the commercial bank in India its total deposit is 100 rupees and the CRR is 4% of the total deposits so this bank is required to hold 4% of 4 rupees with RBI not with itself okay now SLR so SLR is the ratio of the total deposits of a bank which it is required to maintain with itself at the close of business every day in the form of cash gold and uh, government approved securities so let's take an example here suppose this is rbi and uh, here is the bank so rbi has fixed that every bank is required to uh, uh, to maintain 35 percent of the total deposit with itself okay so suppose the total deposit of this bank is 100 rupees and uh, slr is here 35 percent so this bank is required to maintain 35 rupees with itself with itself and it means that it won't use uh, this 35 rupees to give loan to anybody now the call rate call rate so call rate is interbank borrowing rate so when banks borrow the funds from one another or lend to one another with maturity period ranging from one day to 14 days then the rate of interest at which this transaction is carried out is called as call rate so let's take an example here suppose here the banks are given okay so when this bank borrows the funds from this bank uh, for a time period ranging uh, from one day to 14 days then the rate of interest at which this transaction is uh, being carried out is called as call rate and here the point need to be remembered is that uh, in call rate the transaction is uh, carried out uh, between the banks not uh, bank and the RBI okay now the bank rate so bank rate is the rate of interest which RBI charges from its clients like government of India state governments financial institutions, cooperative banks, NBFC and so on on long term lendings ok so now let's take an example here is the RBI and here is the bank ok so when the RBI is giving loan to this bank on uh, long term ok on long term then the rate of interest which is being charged uh, charged by RBI here is a uh, bank rate so in bank rate uh, you need to remember that the bank rate is uh, uh, used for long term lendings now uh, the repo rate so repo rate is the rate of interest the RBI charges from its uh, clients like government of India state government uh, financial institutions uh, uh, NBFC and so on on short term lendings okay for uh, that now let's take an example suppose here is RBI and here uh, here are its clients like uh, government of India state government financial institutions and so on so when RBI is giving loan to one of its clients on short term on short term then the rate of interest being used here is repo rate okay and repo rate is very much important for rbi to maintain the liquidity in the market when uh, there is more liquidity in the market 
then the government increases the repo rate and when it increases the repo rate the banks find it uh, costlier to take the loans uh, from RBI and this way the liquidity in the market decreases now reverse repo rate reverse repo rate so reverse repo rate is the rate of interest which rbi gives to its clients when it uh, takes the loans from them on short term lendings so now let's take an example here is the rbi and here are its clients like government of india state government so on so when rbi is taking the loans okay from them on short term lending on short uh, on short term then the rate of interest the rbi is giving to them is called as reverse repo rate okay now msf marginal standing facility so msf is the last opportunity for the banks to take funds from rbi under msf banks can borrow overnight up to 1% of their net demand and time liabilities from the rbi at the interest rate of 1% higher than the current repo rate so now let's take an example here is the rbi and uh, here is a bank and the net demand of time liabilities of this bank is 100 rupees okay now this bank has to take the uh, loan from rbi so this bank only can take you know uh, 1% loan of their uh, of its net demand and time liabilities from the rbi so this bank only can take 1 rupees uh, from uh, 1 no, rupees as loan from I rbi okay overnight so this bank uh, will take 1 rupees uh, as loan overnight from rbi and the rate of interest uh, the rbi will charge from this bank here will be 1% higher uh, than the repo rate so suppose if the repo rate is 4% then here msf will be 5% okay so guys if you think my video has helped you please subscribe to my channel hit the like and bell icon leave comment and also share it to others so that they can also be benefited thanks for watching